Hello and welcome to the Straytac video tutorial presented by SD Group about configuring a static IP over a DSL connection. In order to get a static IP over DSL, local ISPs require L2TP VPNs, for which we will use the Draytech Figure Router's LAN to LAN VPN feature. Let's begin. First, log into your Vigor router. The default IP address is 192.168.1.1. The default username and password are both admin and admin. You'll then be presented with the dashboard. This tutorial will be broken up into two parts. First, we'll configure the DSL connection, after which we will then configure the VPN for the static IP. To configure DSL, go to WAN General Setup. Later on in the tutorial, when we configure the VPN, we'll need to set that VPN to the default gateway. In order to do that, we need to disable the other WAN connections which we aren't using. Go to each WAN connection and set Enable to No, and then press OK. Do this for each of the WAN connections. We're now ready to set up the DSL account. For that, go down to WAN Internet Access and set the access mode for WAN 1 to PPPoE PPPoA. Under the Details page, we then need to enable the connection, set the VPI to 8, the VCI to 35, encapsulating type to LLC SNAP and protocol to PPPoE. Then input the username for the DSL account and the password as given by the ISP. After pressing OK, we'll be asked to reboot the router and press OK again. Once the router reboots, we'll be taken back to the dashboard after logging in. After DSL sync, WAN 1 will be displayed in green under IPv4 internet access and will be assigned an IP address. This IP address is a dynamic IP for the DSL connection. Now we can set up the VPN. Go to VPN Remote Access in the menu and then LAN to LAN. Pick a fresh VPN profile. In our case, since we have one already, that will be number two. Give the VPN profile a descriptive name Enable the profile and ensure that it's dialing out on WAN 1. We then need to pass NetBIOS packets and multicast via VPN. Set this VPN to dial out and be always on. Now it's time to configure the dial out settings. Our ISP has told us that this will be an L2TP connection with a secret key so we set the IPSEC policy to nice to have. Input the server IP as given by the ISP and the username and password. In our case, the username and password is the same as our DSL account, but it may be different for you. To in enter the shared secret, Click on IKE pre-shared pre key. We can now set the last two settings for the VPN. Number one is changing it from routing to natting. And the final one is to change the default route to this VPN tunnel. Press OK and you'll see that the VPN is offline. This is because it takes up to 30 seconds for the VPN to establish. In order to monitor the VPN being established, you can head down to Connection Management, which is also under VPN and Remote Access. We 
we can now see that the VPN has established. In order to check whether the connection is using the static IP rather than the dynamic IP, we can go to a website like whatismyip.com and it should then display the static IP as given by the ISP. Thank you for watching. For more information, go to www.dratech.co.za or email us at info at sdgroup.co.za.